Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in part three, there were a few things that I missed that I didn't go back and fix. So I'm adding them in here. So this is going to be a very short video. Also, Adam never goes live Monday nights. He went live last night and he stayed on really, really, really late. And um, I think he just assumed I would go, I would put a video up Monday night. So he was trying to detour from his viewers, his subs, seeing it because he stayed on really late. So I'm re-uploading it after this one. So it'll say 3A. And then when I upload the same video of any one of the, um, um, you know, parts, just look at the very end of the title. And if it says re-uploaded, then you know you already seen it. But if it says, um, like this one will be number four because last night was number three and the reason I'm re-uploading it is because not that many saw saw it he, he got what he, he accomplished what he wanted to last night so I want to re-upload it and if he pulls this crap again next Monday then I'm going to just slam YouTube with my videos so I ho hope you heard that Adam so in the Part three, I talk about how Adam said he was going to bring on two more mods. And then um, when I called him out on the email I sent to him recently, um, or when all this started a month or so ago, um, and, he, and then he goes on live and brings Trini on, right? Well, also in that same email, I told him how he was going to talk about, um, he was going to bring people on, um, or people could call in and talk about dreams and visions, right? So I called him out on that in the email. I said, you, we were going to talk about dreams and visions, and, and then that never happened. Well, guess what? <laughs> after after um, he heard that, who does he have on his show? Jacob Israel, one of Satan's fawns. And he's talking about dreams and visions. And from what I understand, it was a horrible show. I did not watch it. I did go in afterwards, like a few days, and I read some of the comments. And people were disgusted because Jacob gives false doctrine. And when you have the word, when you are really hearing from the Father and you feel it in your spirit, you know who's lying and who's not. And he is giving false doctrine. The things he says is just, is just they're just blasphemy. Some of the things he, he throws himself into the into the Bible because his name is Jacob, you know. And and you know I'd said before that I'm my name is Magdalena. But do you see me saying I walk with the with with God with Jesus? I saw him at the tomb. I mean, it's just stupid. And anyway, I read some of the comments and <laughs> his subs ain't stupid. They were not happy. And a lot of them said that they thought that it seemed like he was reading tarot cards or something. Y'all got to watch your, your ears and your eyes because Adam no longer has a Christian channel. He, it's a Luciferian channel. He's bringing these people on. His mods are all Luciferian. They say they, they say they have the Father, but they refuse to look at the, at, the, at the Creator. They refuse to look at Him, look what He did, and hold Him accountable. You know, and this isn't about getting His channel taken down. My goodness, I, would, I don't want His channel taken down. Because of His channel, a lot of us got to meet each other. A lot of us got, didn't feel alone. You know, we need that. This isn't about trying to take Adam down. This is about making Him be accountable for what He did. If he came out and said, all right, you guys, you want the truth, here's the truth. In 2019, I was broke. Shauna got the charity, got the fundraiser, Lena got the fundraiser, and I, I couldn't even pay a light bill. And so I stopped her fundraiser and I started this one and I, I used the money, but with the intentions of giving it to them. You know, when, when I had it later on down the line, I figured I'd have time. But now that somebody called me out on it, this is what happened. They will all forgive him. All of them will. You'll get one or two that act like, you know, jerks about it. But if he's just honest, but no, he double downs on everything. He will not tell the truth to save his life. He double downs and he brings Terry on. Then he, then he, you know, he continues with the lies, you know, and, and this isn't the first time he's done this. You know, he'll, he'll double down on anything because he, he people that lie, they cannot tell the truth. They tell part truth and part lie, and and it, it's sad to watch because I really thought he was he was you know kind of a special guy, 
and now seeing for what he is, it, it, you know, it upsets me. It really does. Okay, let's talk about Jay Stone for a minute. When I said there's a rumor that Jay Stone was getting paid, that wasn't a rumor, actually. Um, she told WB that um, that Dex, Lex, and, and Adam, and I say Dex and Lex because when you're married, you're one, and it's actually Michelle and Michael and and Christopher, Adam, They, she said that they were all keeping the money because um, they were stealing from the charity. They, they never intended on giving it to them. And she knew about it because, um, um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to put it, say anything other than, I mean, Lex and Dex, Michael and Michelle went to Disneyland, took her to Disneyland, right? Well, how do I know that? Well, because we were all on a live on WV Prepared Minds channel, all of us mods, and they came on there and they were in the hotel with Jay. All three of them were there, and they were they were in the hotel, and they had to, so I know for a fact they went to Disneyland. So you know, it all it all adds up. But she forbade him. Told West Virginia WV Prepared Mind that um, that they were stealing money, and she was mad at them for whatever reason, and that's why they went down and took it to Disneyland. And then I'm sure they pocketed, you know, they they padded a pocket there. Now in the conversation with Shauna. Where he's saying, please tell me that I, you know, you're not going to say anything, especially to Lena. That's me. It's Lena. But why is he so afraid of me? I, I mean, I, I never said anything bad about the kid. I mean, nothing. Never went against him. Never said anything bad about him. So all this came about, you know, before that, I mean, what was he so afraid of? Well, I think because when, if you watch my first video or my second, I forget. Anyway when um they told me when he asked me to find out who would stay as mod and who would go with shauna when i did that and i didn't do it the way they wanted they realized that i would not play ball dirty i wouldn't do what they wanted me to do i didn't know what they wanted me to do i didn't understand that that what was going on and see the other girls they would the other girls would lie cheat and steal i wouldn't though and i think at that point i became their second target and that's when they started talking about my back they started getting all of us um um, they all started pitting them against me and then my husband passes away and I remember one time me in West Virginia me and her talks about this the other night me and West Virginia were in discord in Adams discord before it was shut down and I just lost my husband I wanted someone to talk to right so um, I'd go into discord and I'd see who's in there and if I saw somebody in there I'd you know send them a message and say hey come in a discord you know and let's talk I wanted someone to freaking talk to so WV came in there. We're talking about just nothing. I don't even know what, what, you know, we don't even remember, but we're just talking. Adam comes in there, raises holy heck with me and starts t saying, I don't know what you think you're doing, calling people in here for meetings and da, 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 da. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Here, I am just wanting someone to talk to. My husband just died. And I, and I wanted someone to talk to. And, and WV came in to talk to me. WV is a, a therapist. She's a psychologist. So I wanted someone to talk to. Who better to talk to, right? And he just laid into me and screamed at me. And so he said, you're not supposed to be in here unless we're doing a show. Well, that was never the thing before. We were always hanging out in there. But now they didn't want me hanging in there, hanging out in there because they didn't want me and WB to talk because then they were afraid that she would tell me what they were saying about me. See, it all starts adding up. I mean, it's just insane, this whole thing. Just to be clear, you have not and will never show any of our texts in between each other to anyone, including Lena, any of the mods, anyone who has not signed an NDA with Mark Google News LLC. Is that something I can believe that you are saying? If you don't break the law, then no, I won't show those texts. What do you mean if I don't break the law? That, that's how that's how that works. If you're going to break the law. Now, in the conversation you just heard between um, Adam and Shauna, um, Adam is is um, everybody knows what break the law is. I mean, come on, it's not. This isn't rocket science here. A child can tell you. So, I believe that um, I don't know for sure, but I believe she knew that Dex was going to do the data mining and use software 
and um, she wasn't okay with that. Um, I originally, you know, I was thinking it was because of the charity fraud, but I think that came up, that came way way later um, as far as figuring that out. So the only thing that does make sense is that um, they probably talked to her about using software or about you know what they were going to do and how Dex could make money. Now here's the thing. Dex doesn't work for Oracle anymore, right? At least I don't think he does. And since he designed, he invented the software working for them, then it would be their property. Or maybe he sold it to them. I don't really know all that. But what I do know, or what I do believe, is that he no longer works there, apparently. And he comes on this little tiny channel. And what happens if he gets data of his own? What happens if he gets a group of data? like Mark Google's group and then he gets discord and then he gets Twitter and then he gets Facebook and he gets all this right you know how many people he can he can get get information from and once he has all that information do you know who he can sell that to on his own making his own money so I don't know if I don't know if he sold the rights to the patent to Oracle or if he still owns the patent I don't know any of that but for him to go on Adam's channel and do his data mining there and put his software in there, I think it's questionable because, well, for one, he shouldn't be doing it. And, but I think he, if he, if he is doing it illegally, he's doing it to sell our information for him to make money. And, um, somebody said that, oh no, he sold, I think it was, um, um, Rip Curl said, no, he, he didn't sell the cup, sell the company and make the three hundred million dollars. You know, da 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 da. Well, we know none of us know what what the truth is, but we do know he is doing data mining on our channel. That's why he got kicked off Discord for life. Him and Adam because he was trying to do it there and they caught him. So if he's gone rogue and he's doing it on his own, is it legal or is it? as far as like owning the patent and all that you know so that's that's a thought so I think I think they pitched it to Shauna and Shauna was a no-go <laughs> a good girl <laughs> but I think that's what that was all about and that's what the fight was and that's why Adam is panicking because he doesn't want anybody to know what they were going to be up to because they were going to make a lot of money on it which explains why Adam is worth six million dollars now. Don't you find that kind of funny? That he's worth six million dollars when just a couple years ago he didn't. He was still from a charity. See, here's the thing about the charity: in 2019, he wasn't making nothing. So he shut down my charity after not even not even four weeks, and then he started the Cars for Heroes. And well, it wasn't even Cars for Heroes. It was just a charity, and he was bouncing all over the place, but. He was broke. He needed money, and that's what they were doing. And then um, Dex, you know, is getting his software up and going, so that's going to take time, right? And then he gets the data, and then he's able to sell it. So he must have sold it for a lot of money, because how does Adam go from stealing from a charity for a few months, and then it stops in December, and then we'll get to that later in this video, but then... But then now he's worth six million dollars. I mean, y'all, y'all seen the big picture here? All right, let's go on. Okay, so let's talk about how um, he never set up a um, charity with Teespring. He didn't. That's clear. So um, he was getting the money into his bank account. So when the time came and he ended the campaign, well, he didn't end it. Dex ended it. It was Mark. Adam was clueless to it, and I'll, I'll show you that. But um, why didn't he just mail a check to? Um, to uh, Cars for Heroes, he could have done that. You can always do a charity for somebody and then just mail the check to them, to the to the people. He never did that, right? But then, but then he he says that it was stuck in a third party. Well, how is that possible? If you never set up a badge, you don't even have a first party, meaning Teespring. You're Teespring. You're the first party. And it got hung up in the second, in the third party. It had to be, you know, Dex and Michelle or Michael and Michelle. How do you get to a third party when it goes straight into your bank? You, you go online, you buy a t-shirt, it goes into your 
your bank. Where's the third party? Your bank held it up. I don't, Adam, do you understand what you're saying? None of it makes sense. It's not true. It's a lie. Oh, no, it got hung up at Teespring. You didn't have one. You didn't have an account with Teespring. Not for this. There was no badge. People couldn't buy it. They were buying T-shirts. Where's the badge? There's never one. It was going straight into your account. So there goes your whole third party thingy. <laughs> and then there's a part where he says, if you would like to support a charity, go buy one of our, sh our Mafia shirts and it helps support the, the Mafia family. Well, how does that support the Mafia family? I, I don't get it. Because now you got the Mafia family, you've got the Mott, you've got um, um, RKTNN, you've got Cars for Heroes or whatever. I mean, when does it stop, Adam? How, how does somebody buying a t-shirt help the Mafia family? I See, creators do that. They say, you know, um, if it wasn't for you, you know, this is for you. And I mean, I, I don't get that. I, I just don't get it. How did somebody buying a shirt help the, the, the Mafia family? I mean, help you because it went into your bank account, I think is what you, what you mean, right? I'm pretty sure that's what you mean. Don't sell a whole ton of them. So, um, it wasn't, if you have one, it has to be approved by Teespring because we want Teespring to just do it directly. Okay. Now this clip you just seen where I, I didn't, I should have probably put clips in each one of these little things I'm talking about, but in this specific one, first thing he says is, is that we don't really sell a lot of them. When he lies, he goes up high pitch. Okay. He does the same thing every time he mentions the charity. Um, cars for heroes. I mean, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to, to this stuff. Okay. So he's, um, in this one, you know, when he does that, when he says that, um, we don't really make a ton of money. I mean, there, he's lying through his teeth. And then in the next part, he says, um, now remember you have to go through Teespring. Well, <laughs> he's making it sound like it's the patrons first, you know, issue, you know, if it doesn't go to charity, you have to go here or they don't get it. Uh, no, Adam, you didn't set it up. So it's going into your bank. The patron doesn't have to do anything. You know, the buyer, they don't have to do any, they're supposed to just click on it, pay for it. And it goes through the charity badge into Teespring. And then they divide the money there, but you're making it sound like, now, remember, you have to do that. How do they know they're just going to buy a shirt and click on it? See, that's how you're all wishy-washy here, you know, and then, and you just, you're just deflecting. And then he further deflects by talking about wounded warriors. One time I did wounded warriors and everyone got mad at it. Nobody got mad at him. I think one or two people might have said, hey, you might want to check them out because of this or that. But I mean, he's just... He's just trying to deflect from the fact that they're keeping the money. Okay. That's what all this is about. Don't sell a whole ton of them. So, um, it wasn't, it, if you have one, it has to be approved by Teespring because we want Teespring to just do it directly. Um, I think they have, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of charities. One time I did wounded warriors and then I got everybody yelling at me saying that wounded warriors did all this stuff bad or whatever. Uh, so that's why I'm a little bit more careful about working with charities. Cause you didn't work with the charity. You stole the money. My goodness. So now looking back, there's the part where, um, where I tell you that, um, Dex told me just let Shauna have the GoFundMe and, and just let her deal with it herself that, you know, and, and just cut her loose like that. Now looking back in hindsight, he wanted her to disappear completely because of the conflict and and i think it was because she was going against them as far as the uh the data mining or what have you but he clearly was like no just let her have it let her they were doing whatever they could to get her to go away so that's why i think he wanted me to give up the gofundme name of my football family fund because they just wanted her gone because she knew too much <laughs> t-shirt proceeds are going to cars for heroes which is a uh, charity that actually gives to veterans that need transportation. Uh, we've been doing this for about a month. 
uh, if you want to rep the mafia and help. Okay, so if he announced the charity September 26, I thought I saw one that started on the 19th, but it doesn't matter. September 26, and now we're going on no, you know, November 6. He and he says it's been going on for a month. Do you see the math problem here? From September to November, it's clearly more than a month. So wishy-washy. Because when you lie, you cannot keep the story straight. The truth always comes out. Charity, again, 100% of the, these proceeds are going to that. So I uh, appreciate you guys supporting that charity. Uh, we want to do whatever we can for, you know, Fugle fam and veterans, especially. Okay, now I cannot believe I missed all this stuff, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> but here he says, you know, we want to help out the Fugle fam and veterans. So, which is it? Is the money for the Fugle fam, meaning you and Dex, you and Michael and Michelle, Dex and Lex, or the charity? You, you see what he did there? He's, he's, he's telling you the truth, but then the lie is there as well. You know, it's helping the Fugle fam, them. But they want to help the charity. But they never send money to the charity, charity until Snap Do Snaps called them out. Uh, we are still doing the charity drive on the Mafia shirts. 100% since day one of these shirts is gone. Uh, the profit has gone to Cars for Heroes. 100% from day one has gone to Cars for Heroes. It's gone there. They gave it to him. That's what he's saying. One hundred percent, it's gone there. Um, yeah, it, it didn't go there until recent into, back then, two thousand nineteen, December, October, November. Any September, October, November, December. They didn't get nothing in two thousand nineteen, and now we're in September two thousand twenty-two, three years later. And uh, yeah, a few weeks ago, Terry France came on live and said. Yeah, for three years, it don't get lost in the third party. Anyway, he's saying it went there. He lied, lied, Adam. You're lying, dude. You're lying. All go for cars for heroes. So again, I've I've seen other creators, you know, give ten percent, thirty percent. We give uh, one hundred percent of all the proceeds from this to cars for heroes. Are we putting down other creators, Christopher, aka Adam Marf? Remember the cardinal rule. We never, ever put down other creators or their beliefs or anything. Ever. Isn't that what you told me? I got the email. Would you like me to show that and read it? I can, you know. You said that you took my wrench away. Not that I care, but I'm still, I'm talking about your BS, okay? You said in an email that you took it away because I did not follow Jacob Israel that because all I said in your chat as a mod was that I do not follow him. He has false doctrine, something like that. Similar. That's all I said. Didn't say nothing cruel or anything. I spoke the truth. And you said, that's why you took my rent because I broke the number one cardinal rule. You never talk about other creators. Well, what'd you just do? You just put them all, you put down all of them that were, that only give 5, 10, and 15, whatever percent. But you give 100 percent. No, you didn't. You didn't give them nothing. I'll prove it too. Because you, you, you made, you made a mistake in, in your video. I want to point it out. Anyway, wow. Talk about a hypocrite. Just saying. If you know some veterans, you know that they're not exactly treated 100% amazing all the time. In fact, I know some that just, it, it really felt like they just got kind of left on the doorstep. Um, especially some of them that have given and sacrificed, sacrificed their limbs, sacrificed their minds, sacrificed uh, their peace for us and for our safety. Uh, so I salute you and, and your sacrifice, and that's why we are doing this again. So, Adam, I'm sorry. I just find this hard to believe that you actually really do care. I mean, I know all Americans care in one way or another, but you're 
you're taking money from them. Okay. And that's, that's clear that Terry France covered for you, but I, I find it hard to believe that, you know, veterans, I mean, we all know somebody, but I mean, that's really suffering, you know, especially when you say without their mental faculties or whatever, however you put it, you have no idea what it's like to take care of your own child that you raised to be a man and they give you back a child and he's probably never going to grow up again. You have no idea. I'm not going to cry. Why do you think this hit me home so bad? Because what you did was wrong, Adam. It was wrong. If you want to, uh, nothing because it's blank. Um, I think we're done with that. So here Adam is surprised that he is not going to advertise the t-shirts, the Marfia t-shirts for Cars for Heroes, because he's obviously shocked and says, oh, I guess we're not because there's nothing there or whatever he said. Well, Dex pulled the plug. I, um, I think they had to do this for a little while just to stay afloat financially while well, Dex ran his program and he knew money was going to be coming in. So I, I, that's my assumption, but, um, that's what makes sense to me because Adam didn't even know he wasn't going to promote it anymore. So that was clearly a Dex decision. Okay. And we're done now. These are just the things that I had left out and, um, wanted to make sure that I covered them. So, all right. Thanks for listening. Y'all have a blessed day.